Hey guys, John Bergsman here at DNR Sports Center. This is the big week, guys. Stay tuned. We got three great reports. We got Tawas, Michigan, walleyes galore, mixing in a handful of lake trout, shallow water. Then we're going to talk about Saginaw Bay, shallow water trolling. And we're going to end the day at the Detroit River talking about Detroit River jigging, which is officially on fire. Stay tuned for three great reports here from DNR Sports Center. It's the week of their big sales. Stay tuned. Okay, so Mikey Parnicki Jr. tells me that the bite out of Tawas Harbor south to Point uh, Augre has been extremely good. Now, those fish have been there for the last couple weeks, but of course, with cooler water temperatures and being on main lake shoreline of Lake Huron, it just takes a little bit longer for those fish to trigger, to spawn, and to really fire up. Well, this warm weather that we've had over the last three or four days has done just that. Mikey went fishing this morning, which is a Monday morning. You're seeing this report on Tuesday, so it couldn't be any fresher than this. Uh, he got a beautiful limit of fish, as you're seeing the picture coming up on the screen he was casting and combination casting and trolling he would make trolls in 10 to 15 feet of water until he would encounter fish or see them on his side finder now really good shallow water trollers understand that if you have your side finder on a lot of times you can see those pods of fish that are off toward shore uh, and you can really put a finger on them, put a mark right on your screen that'll mark the gps coordinate of where that pod of fish was then after a, maybe a mile or mile and a half troll, catching what you can catch, you can run back and you can hand, hold, hand and rod and hand catch those fish that are just waiting to be caught. So how are they doing it? Well, shallow water trolling, as always, is going to be a combination of a lot of different baits short-lined. So what works? Well, big uh, walleye nation creation reapers or, or dead-eye minnows or bandits will all work if you're short-lining them. And what do I mean by short-line? I mean... 15 to 30 feet back behind your offshore board. You know, keeping them maybe three, four feet off the bottom, you're dealing with pretty clean water, even though it's got some stain to it, you're still dealing with pretty clean water there on the main lake here on shoreline. And the, and the fish are coming out of the river and they're just migrating their way down the shoreline towards Point Our Gray. So you're gonna have a real good concentration of fish for the next several weeks right there out of Tawas. Now, if you're looking for a speed, 1.5 is always a good benchmark, cold water speed, you know, on a cloudy kind of off day, maybe 1.3. But you know, you're starting to get water temps up into the upper 40s, so that means you can go 1.5. Sometimes even on a sunny day, bump that up to 1.7. But Tawas, Michigan, right now for the next couple weeks, down south towards Point El Grey, the bite is great. If you're looking to handheld, uh, you know, rod and hand catch these, throw small 3.25 Strike King, green pumpkin and pearl on maybe a quarter ounce jig head. Again, you're in pretty shallow water, so you're gonna make slow, uh, slow fan casts into the area where you marked fish suspend, um, on the bottom on your side finder. There should be lots of fish there. There should be willing biters. You should have a great time com combining trolling with casting there out of Tawas. All right, our next bite is Saginaw Bay, guys. The Saginaw Bay bite, according to Jason Graham over at uh, at uh, Send It Charters, based right there out of Linwood Beach Marina and Campground, the starting headquarters place for all of your Saginaw Bay walleye fishing adventures. Uh, they've got a great boat launch facility. They got ample parking. Of course, they've got the ship store with all your live bait. Jason and his guide service are based right out of there. Jason is actually employed by the, the marina and campground. And so you can either buy your boat from them, get your information from them, or also go out on a charter excursion. What's happening? Shallow water fish is always right now. Um, these fish are, are all over in 10 to 15 feet of water. You can catch them all the way from basically standish all the way down to the mouth of the river. They're in little tight pods of fish. You're gonna just be trolling small or large crankbaits anymore. Uh, crankbaits, uh, the large ones, sent, you know, they tend to work really good until post spawn. And then I sense that these fish come back and kind of go more towards a number five boogie shad or a number 11 or nine flicker minnow 
or a number, it's still a little too early to get rolling with the number fives and number seven shaky shads or, or shad wraps, but the boogie shads for sure, and the flicker minnows and the big, uh, and the big uh, bandits or reapers are gonna work good right now. One five to two miles an hour, just depends on the day and what the mood of the fish is. You get a really good sullener table day where the bite windows are solid and you get warming temperatures like you're gonna have this week all week long. Those are gonna be days where you can bump that up to 1.7 miles an hour. But basically, you're just covering water, cruising. When you catch a walleye, hit your GPS so that you know where the pods are at. And hopefully you can do a milk run and get through and get a boat limit for yourself. But right now, Saginaw Bay is firing very nicely and, and things are starting to really go with this warm weather. So hey guys, before we talk about the Detroit River, let's talk about this. We're at DNR Sports Center. This is the weekend that they have their great big post Mother's Day uh, celebration. They've got Randy Van Dam here. Of course, the owner, they got Kevin Van Dam coming in, Mark Zona, Jonathan Van Dam. They got other guest speakers. Josh Bertrand is gonna be here. Chris Nofsinger from up in the greater Traverse City area is gonna be here. Uh, Johnston is gonna be here. The great Canadian bass fisherman that fishes on Bassmasters, he's gonna be here. So there is gonna be some serious talent in the house and they've got it going all weekend long, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, they're gonna have basically the whole store on sale. There'll be great deals for you guys to come in and, and save money, load that tackle box up, get all stocked up for everything you need for this upcoming season this weekend here at DNR Sports Center. The, the seminars are free, guys. You might as well rub shoulders and talk to these pros who can help you put more fish in the boat. Um, so now let's get to the Detroit River, where Captain Eric Long and Captain Michael Downey from Relentless Grind Guide Service have been whacking fish. This is go time, man. This warm weather has got those fish pouring in from Lake Erie right into the Detroit River. I can't tell you where there's a bad spot right now on the Detroit River. The Detroit River is just flat out humping. It is going great from the top of the river to the bottom of the river. And now you've got fish that are pushing up because of the warming temperatures. You've got fish, fish, bleh, fish that are pushing up into the shallows. So if you're a caster who likes to cast worms into shallows for big fish, that's happening. If you want a vertical jig between 10 feet all the way out to 30 feet, there is fish all over the place. Uh, in dirtier stained water, you're gonna go on to go with the darker colors, the purples and the blues and the blacks. In the cleaner water, or just slightly stained water, go with the pimp daddies and the more natural colors with uh, maybe the black with a chartreuse tail. But there's all kinds of good colors working right now because there's just so many darn fish in the system. Don't forget your stinger hooks. That'll put more fish in the boat. You don't need minnows anymore. The water temperature is up in the upper 40s by the time you guys hear this report. And that means the minnows are pretty much done and you can just go with plastic worms or plastic minnow bodies with stingers. So. Get out to the Detroit River, have a great time. Most importantly, get right here to DNR Sports Center this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Tons of free seminars, the biggest name pros in the industry will be right here at DNR. You can talk to them, you can answer their questions, you can load up that tackle box with huge savings. We'll see you here this weekend. Make loading and unloading your boat easy with the Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch. Load with ease, simply drive on the trailer and the Dorado will automatically latch to your bow eye. A hard plastic liner protects your boat. For launching, back your boat in, pull the release lever and away you go. For roller or bunk trailers, the Dorado is quick and easy to install and works with most V-Hull boats. Spend less time at the landing and more time fishing. The Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch, online at doradoproducts.com.